sometimes when your parents get like when they sound like they still have rocks in them when you just clean them when your bearing doesn't look rusted at all still silver and they sound like if you can hear sound like sand still in there I already lubricated it and I already washed it so it still has these stone things in there here closely they start they hear like they have rocks in them I know how to fix that take a cup of water tap water of course make sure it's cold water put it in there Leave it out for a few hours. I'll be back when when a few hours is ready. <coughs> All right, guys. I'm wrong. You just need to rinse them for 20 minutes or 30, depending. But it takes one hour to clean these. I just mix. I just make short videos. All right. Take a screwdriver. Put it in there. Try to get your bearing out. All right. But it's not over yet. It may seem okay, but there's still stones in there. So what I want you to do, take a wow. take a no use toothbrush and just scrub it all out. Mm -hmm. Scrub it, scrub it. Mm -hmm. Scrub it. Rinse it with water. Scrub. Just scrub it. When you're done, scrub behind. This should sound like this. That means your own. That means the stones are getting out almost. But there's one more problem. There's still oil in there. So take a towel, put it in, put a bearing in. This is the bearing, right there. Cover it. Hit it. When you open it, you see the marks. When it has marks, it's good. And then it will sound like this. Now, soak it again. While you're in there, try and scroll. Squirrel. Try to brush it up. Brush. You brushed it? The stones get stuck. But it's okay because these these bearings are almost rusty. Oh, sorry about that. Now, go go find some anti-rust and spray it. I'll go get the anti-rust and be right back. All right, I got this, which is good for your bearings. Very thin. All right. Put the, that needle in. Spray a little. Yeah, once you spray it, tap it. So there are no extras. And it shouldn't return to its normal squeak. Don't put too much. It's two sprays is enough. So just take your towel, put your bearing in, and tap it in the towel. And it'll return to its normal self.
but you still need lubricant because that thing just lets the spot go away. Put a half a drop, two half drops makes one, and then it's all better. Just tap it. Pull a little bit more. And you're all better. Alright. Gonna let it absorb. For a few minutes and I'll be right back. Alright. Alright guys, it's already absorbed. And now it should sound like a normal berry. Except it's bronze now. So you just have to put one drop when it's bronze. I like to put it on the side so it's slippery. And there. Fully lubricated. Now you can just tap it a little bit so it's not too oily. Now just put it in the wheel. Just push it in if it's strong enough. If not, just put it on the trucks. Push it in like that. So now it's better. This should be on the side. It sounds better. So, if your berries ever sound like they still have stones in them, first rinse them in water. A cup of water. Then, rinse them for 20 minutes, brush them up, rinse them for one minute, in a cup again. Take some anti-rust. Anti Spray once, put one drop of lube, then spray it a strong spray, and then dry it, let it absorb, then put a little bit more lubricant, hit it on the mat, hit it on the cup on this, and then put it in the wheel. It should sound better. I do not like to put shields on my bearings, so I just let them there. Good job. So yeah, that's the end of this video, like, comment, tell me what you want to see next, and yeah, I'm lazy to put a little bit of description because, alright, I'll put some of the description of the things in the description below, so, peace.